Welcome guys to part one of episode three of my podcast. Where in episode three we're going to be reviewing the 2018 Italian Grand Prix. So here we are for the post-race Italian Grand Prix podcast and once again here with me to go through the race is Niblo. How are you doing mate after that race? Awful. Yeah, I can uh, understand why we'll get on to Daniel Ricciardo very, very soon. But let's first go to Ferrari and Mercedes. What a battle between those two teams all weekend. And in the race, lots of controversy, overtaking, great battles. And I guess first we're going to start off with Mercedes and Lewis Hamilton. What a win that he pulled out of the bag, really. I did not see that coming. And first off, let's discuss... The Vettel and Hamilton incident. Now, again, in my opinion, it's just a racing incident. If anyone is at fault, I would say Sebastian's at fault. Lewis left enough room. Sebastian hit the side of him. I've seen Vettel saying that Vett, uh, that Hamilton should leave more room for him. My opinion of that is, why should Hamilton have to go off, go off the track? Because you're incapable of not having an accident. So... I think there's nothing wrong there, and it's just a racing in its, uh, incident. And, Nib, what do you think of that? Yeah, I also think it was a racing incident. Uh, it was a brilliant move by Hamilton around the outside to capitalise the little look that Vettel had on Kimi, and Vettel had more than enough space, but just picked up a bit of understeer from being right behind Raikkonen and, and went straight into Hamilton. So there can be no one else but... Uh, Vettel at fault here. He shouldn't get a penalty like some people were arguing. Um, But definitely just a racing incident. Yeah, I agree. And then Lewis Hamilton closed up to the back of Kimi Raikkonen on the safety car restart. Passed him, but then Kimi got past him again. Then you had the pit stops where Hamilton pitted. I think it was five laps after Kimi or something like that. Then with the help of Valtteri Bottas, Hamilton closed up to the back of Kimi Raikkonen and brilliantly went round the outside to win the Italian Grand Prix. And Nib, I think we have to say he did deserve it. The way he beat the Ferraris was was fantastic. He earned that race win. Absolutely. This is Hamilton's best race of this season, that's for sure. A lot better than Germany which for whatever reason, people were rating very highly. So yeah, full credit to Hamilton for his victory. He drove an absolutely brilliant race with a brilliant strategy from Mercedes using Valtteri Bottas to back Kimi up into Hamilton as Kimi had always had already shot his tyres when trying to get a gap to Hamilton when uh, Hamilton tried to do the overcut on him and Mercedes made Ferrari look very, very silly in the strategy game this weekend. And credit to uh, James Vells, of course. He got a lot of uh, criticism after a poor strategy call at Austria, but he certainly made his money's worth there with that decision. Yeah, great race there for Mercedes, of course. Not only first, but third with Valtteri Bottas. But moving on to Ferrari, again, not for the first time this season, and I don't think for the last time, They blew it on race day. Kimi Raikkonen, when it comes to the driving, he did everything I think he can or could have to try and win that race. But I think the team pitted him too early. They should have tried to react to what Lewis was going to do instead of... I think I still think they kind of fell for what Mercedes um, were trying to do with Lewis Hamilton in terms of the crew coming out in the pit lane and then going back in again. I think they kind of fell for that, but... Maybe Hamilton was going to pit, who knows. But for Kimi Raikkonen, I do feel sorry for him, but that's just the way sometimes racing goes. But for Sebastian Vettel, he he did get up to P4 and, you know, it was a decent drive from basically the back of the grid. But Nib, again, another mistake that is the, what, the fourth mistake, key mistake he's made this season. And I would say... So far this season, with the mistakes he has made alone, he's cost himself at least two race wins in terms of the amount of points you get for two race wins. I'd say at least 50 points. 
Yeah, well, if that, if Hamilton wins the championship this season, it's going to be very clear why he has done so, and that's because of the mistakes that Sebastian Vettel has made on numerous occasions. We've been through it on some previous podcasts, and he just hasn't learnt once again. Went far too far to the left, going into out of the Curva Grande, into the braking zone of the the chicane and gave Hamilton the opportunity to go past him. And Hamilton took it with a brilliant move. And I must say, when Kimi Raikkonen made that move around the outside of Hamilton at the second chicane, I didn't know which which year of Kimi Raikkonen we were watching, (laughs) whether it was 2007. It was absolutely brilliant to see Kimi back on the top of his game this weekend. And potentially for the last time at Monza, which we'll, we'll touch on a bit later. Yes, it could be the last time we do see Kimi Raikkonen driving a Ferrari in Italy, but again, we'll get onto that later once we get to Sauber and Charles Leclerc. But then we go on to Red Bull, who I think with Max Verstappen did all they could. But the big controversy for Red Bull and Verstappen was that penalty where Verstappen moved across, then moved back to the middle, and then Bottas, in my opinion, hit Verstappen. I don't think Verstappen moving across is what created the contact. I think Verstappen, I wouldn't say he was in the right, but I don't think he was in the wrong either. For me, it was just a racing incident. Simple as that. And Nib, do you agree or do you think that Max should have got a penalty for that? Initially, I thought it was not a penalty, but the more I've looked at it, just uh, I don't think it's a penalty still, but right on the limit of what are uh, in defending from Bottas. I will say, though, with that incident, I'm not going to totally defend Max because I do think, looking back, his move across was unnecessary. If he did not do that, then... Maybe it wouldn't have happened, but I still don't think that it, you know, created the contact. But in the end, you know, at the end of the day, Bottas, I think, should have passed Verstappen quite easily in that race. And I'm very surprised that Verstappen managed to hold him back for the entire race, considering the Mercedes in a straight line is so quick compared to the Red Bull. But talking of another Red Bull driver, Daniel Ricciardo, again, Nib, you know, starting at the back... There was nothing really he was going to get in terms of a you know great result out of this race, but another reliability issue. Very similar race to Hockenheim, where he was slowly coming through the field, and then his race, about halfway through the race, it's ruined by another reliability issue. Yeah, I'm quite sick of it, Frank. Frankly, it's a clutch issue which happened, not an engine issue. So. Don't know if he'll have to take an engine penalty or not at Singapore. Hopefully he doesn't because he has joked in the press about not showing up to the Singaporean Grand Prix because he doesn't want to start at the back again. But just so, so unlucky. He was making some good progress through the field. Obviously had to let Vettel by because Vettel was far superior and quicker than Ricardo was, but I want to say a quick shout out to Max Verstappen. His pace all weekend and during the race was fantastic. And hopefully that shows a bit of promise for Red Bull at Singapore. Before we go on though, guys, to the midfield teams, we do want to discuss one thing that has happened this weekend. And it does involve Mercedes, Ferrari, Ferrari fans and Lewis Hamilton is the booing situation, which has happened at Monza. Now, you know, this is not a new thing. This happens all over the world, all, at, you know, at all the racetracks with with certain, you know, races where there are lots of fans of one driver or one team. This is always going to happen. And Nib, I have to say, I'm quite surprised why people are so shocked by Ferrari fans booing a Mercedes driver. To me, it doesn't make any sense. Of course, they're going to do that. Yeah, absolutely. If you're Manchester City and you're going to play at Old Trafford, just because you're the best football team in England doesn't mean that you're not going to get booed. It's an absolutely joke. And the way that Hamilton conducted himself about all the negativity and crying about it all weekend, frankly, frankly, was quite ridiculous. 
He's Lewis Hamilton. He's a British driver driving a Mercedes car in Italy against Ferrari. In Ferrari, if you're not a Ferrari driver and you're doing well, you're going to get booed. It's the same in Silverstone. If you're up against Lewis Hamilton, you're going to get booed. I think people just need to accept the fact that people can voice their opinions and be able to do it without criticism, quite frankly, because the amount of people saying, oh, they shouldn't be booing, like, well, what do you want then? Just people to be absolutely dead silent for there to be absolutely no atmosphere at the races because that's what makes it so good at at the Grand Prix. I, I've been to the Australian Grand Prix many, many times now, and that will, that's what makes the situation so good. When Vettel retired in 2014, every single person in every single grandstand around Albert Park went off their head because we were so happy that Vettel retired because we absolutely hated his guts from the day at Weber, of Weber. And I don't know what people are complaining about, frankly. I totally agree. And when it comes to the Ferrari fans, you know, booing Hamilton, they've done this with a person who's driving for, well, the two drivers that are driving for Ferrari now. They did it with Vettel when he was at Red Bull. I'm sure they did it with Kimi Raikkonen when he was at McLaren, with Alonso when he was at Renault and McLaren in the mid-2000s, with Montoya, Hakkinen. Um, I'm sure they did it with Senna and Prost when they were at McLaren or Mansell when he was at Williams. It goes on all the time, and the same at Silverstone. It just happens. You have to accept it. This is the reality of of sports, never mind Formula 1. And if you don't want booing, then I think as Nip said, what what do you expect people to do? You know, golf claps? This, it's sports. People are allowed to show their passion. So as far as I'm concerned, if you pay a very expensive ticket, which going to an F1 race, it's very expensive to go to, you should be allowed to express your opinion because that would that is what it is. They're expressing their opinion. If you don't like it, then you know don't don't listen to them. Quite frankly, and to kind of compare examples, you know, Nib talks about Australia in 2014. The only F1 race I've been to was Spain in 2014, and at that race, Sebastian Vettel in the Red Bull. Um, had a reliability issue in qualifying. I think it might have been a gearbox issue or something like that at the start of Q3. Because of the years before, from 2010 to 2013, where Fernando was second best to Vettel, every single Spanish fan was going crazy. You would have thought that Spain won the World Cup. They were going crazy. They were going so crazy, you would have expected that Alonso would just put it on pole or won the race. This is the way it is. If you don't like it, then quite frankly, just don't listen to them. But anyway, guys, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget, guys, that part two will be out at the same time tomorrow. Also, don't forget to join our Discord server. There's a link below down in the description. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and check out my website. Comment down below what you thought of this video and comment down below what did you think of what we discussed so far in this podcast. Please comment down below what you think about those topics and until next time it's been me Chazzer HD, goodbye.